So let's see what happens. Oh, wow, they're all coming down the middle. Yeah, oh, you have, a rune, you have a rune sword. You. That is pathetic. Yeah, that's Thanks actually what that's actually what Marissa has on Erica's path. There's there's nothing wrong with that. That's just another monster out of the way for your good guys. This is perfect. They come down the middle to your weak units. You back off. You just draw everyone in. You let your other guys deal with that nasty stuff. Yeah, I know. That worked out better than I thought it would. I can't believe I'd never thought about that strategy before. I didn't think they would get that intensely interested in the middle. I know. But that hey, <laughs> if it works bad, it works. Yeah, well, this guy decided Nothing to... Nothing wrong with that. This guy decided, I'm going to take a shot at the big guy with the giant axe. Well, his best chance to hit somebody, that's why he did it. And now he's toast. Yeah, he is toast of a ghost. I'm using your lines like yeah, crazy. Yeah, I haven't used toast of a ghost in forever, so I think you're good. Yeah. It's so much a part of, like, your uh, shtick, though, with your commentary that it's in your fan game, though, which is even funnier. <laughs> like, that's what I find funny about that, is that it's so much a part of, like, your commentary and stuff like that that they, that your sniper put that in there. Let's what see. are you doing? I'm you making sure. You could have got him closer than that. Yeah, I was trying to get Ross the garm. Oh, that's that. what you're doing, and... Yeah, because I'm like, you know, I'm probably... I mean, he's, he's not going to attack the Demon King, but he might have to take care of something down the line here. Yeah, if another Draco zo zombie spawns, I will need him to have Garm. All right, speaking of Draco zombies, I really need to lure this one out. Let's see. Probably going to have Amelia do it. That's probably your best call, but you just got to be careful of that shadow shot, bugger. But if it, it'll probably still focus on shooting the one that uh, he's singled out, which is Garrick, which is fine. Yeah. Just be careful that you don't get uh, someone in range. You don't need in range. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty good. I awesome. Yeah, we're good. Oh, that entombed. Oh, buddy. Oh, you parked. You were in the wrong part of the hood. Yeah. Oh but... God. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Light bomb. <laughs> Natasha, pretty, give hug. Oh, Natasha killed me. Bad. <laughs> she got a level. Nice. Oh, Natasha killed me. Give sad. Jeez. Her magic's 21. Holy cow. If she could use freaking Evaldi right now, I would give it to her. But Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing with those healers first. But they always get stuck with an S rank in staves. Now, technically, yeah, Joshua They're not going to be going up there. They're purely there for crowd control. They're just there to watch and have a front row seat. Yeah, Look thanks. at us! Look at us, Demon King! La, 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 la. Meanwhile, everything's sneaking up for the side. He has no perfect <laughs> vision. People don't yeah. know that. All right, in turn and see what happens. Sorry for the delay. I had to... Ooh, Jesus. And he actually hit, which is a problem. Eh, not the end of the world. You got a healer over there. And if you don't, you have Natasha in the middle. Yeah. And See, even if this hits, I know it won't I knew that thing wasn't gonna be able to do enough damage. Her stats are high enough, and, it's yeah, and she her. dodged it. And she dodged yeah, it anyway. Exactly. That's why she was the right choice for the job. All right. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I could take him now, out. This every room. three turns, he summons new monsters, I believe. So if I take him out this turn, he won't be summoning anymore. I believe that's the case. Yeah, because Joshua can hit him, and Tana and Ephraim can hit him as well. Fortunately, with, without her the archer being closer, she won't be able to help out, I don't think. Yep. Nope. Yeah, Ross, I would have to sacrifice Ephraim's shot to let uh, Ross have a shot, and I'm not going to do that. All right, well, I'm going to do this. Let's see. Natasha is right well, there. Well, test out, test out the numbers. This thing has 120 hit points. You may not be able to kill it in one go, which means you don't want too many troops in there. So there's 32. Yeah. It's 100 or 120, I can't remember. I think it's 120. It's, it's 120. And that's 50. Mm-hmm, that's 82. And if Joshua can get in there and not die... That is the, the key here, can he? Oh, he'll be fine. 44. All right, 40, that should be enough, assuming everyone hits. The only problem you got to worry about is that 4% critical hit chance for Joshua, meaning I guess he goes last. Yeah, he would go last. I I wouldn't send him into that. Can anyone I'll from the right side help here? Mm. I don't think they're close enough. But can anyone no, get not. in there? Doesn't look like it. No. If I oh. if I can't take him out this turn, I will have to have Natasha heal. You know what? Deal. Humor me and just check with Joshua. Not Joshua. Um, 
Ross can do. I, I know it's unlikely he can do anything better, cause, and he's going to be vulnerable, but I'm just curious to see what he has. He can do more damage. Yes, he can do 60, but the hit percentage is way yeah, too concerning. Yeah, that's... That concerns me. So, also, it didn't show what uh, Ephraim and Tana oh, would look Oh, like you like also have Arters. I don't think he can hit. Nope. Oh, he's one short. That's why you need to park those guys closer next time. You, you left some space there, bud. Yeah. I... You gonna push it or are you gonna wait? I would feel safer with a backup option just in case crap really hits the fan. So I'm gonna well, put it off. You still yeah. have Natasha have to heal. Yeah. Also, I probably need to take this guy out regardless. So let's well, see. that'll do it. Nah, I have to use to go in there. <laughs> no, the brave sword is not going to do it. A worm slayer might have had a chance if it critted, but otherwise, no. Oh, son of a gun! He hit with that too. Well, he's dead in the door now. Now. Well, that's a day late and a dollar short, Erica. Yeah. The hey. good news is, Amelia does have an elixir I can heal her with, and I can heal uh, Erica with um, Ewan. So this side is not, you know, hope is not lost for this side. Hope wasn't lost anyway. Yeah, no. The good news is, for the most part, the monsters are, you know, the monsters from the first round are done for. Uh, let's go ahead and have her up here, just in case we need to deal with anything. And she is out of his range. And I'll have Garrick go up there, too, because I'm pretty positive there's going to be stuff summoned right up here. But I'm going to leave Garrick a little short, just in case more stuff comes from that direction. And I'm going to move Archer a little closer. About here. I would get everyone close, yeah. I wouldn't get them that close, though. It's right out it, of his range. It's out of his range, but stuff that appearing, you may have to rearrange people on the fly, and you need a little bit of space sometimes. Yeah. The one reason now, if you're going to let the second round of monsters show up, you want to leave a little bit of space now, as opposed to before, if you're going to try to rush him. Yeah. I am planning to try and take him out in one I shot. I would get Ross closer. He, like about... And, yeah, I could put him right in here. Yeah, that would be the one to do, because if nothing else, he could smack a monster in the teeth. Which he's Clear very good space at. for everyone else. There you go. Screw it. Get ready. Here we go. <laughs> Damn how bad, excited. How badly have I screwed up? <laughs> oh, and this guy went, like, in the middle of nowhere where I can't reach him, that's, but that's okay. That's fine. He, he's a non-factor. As long yeah. as he's using Shadow Shot, he doesn't matter. Yeah. Yes, he could hit somebody, but, I mean, it's like one He didn't four. summon monsters. No, it must be this turn, then. So now you're fine. You are golden. And now that everyone's closer, you can even, you know, really smack some teeth. Yeah. All right, I'm going to send Tana in first. She can use the far side. Send her far side. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just send her far side, right? Here we go. I, I love how huge he is. He's a terrible <laughs> last boss, but I love how big he is. Yeah. She's not really doing that much damage. Eh, 32 damage if both hit. Nothing wrong with that. That's 25%. Plus, man. She got hit, which is disappointing. Yeah, but that, that, you know, what can you do? <laughs> she got a level, but she, you know, I guess... Enjoy needs a your level! Do, 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 do! Higher speed. That's always Strength. good. Then she got to 50 hit points. I may have to start using Tana at some point. All she right, loves Ephraim. to be quality. All right, Ephraim can deal it. Critical, critical, critical. Demon King, I'm going to kill you. If you get a critical, wow! Might. Great speech, Ephraim. How long did you work on that one? Yeah. Mm, I'm gonna say something really cool. Uh, uh, uh. Demon King, I'm going to kill you. I'm Ephraim. <laughs> he just <laughs> really, he just really did think that hard on that one. No, he didn't. He didn't kill. He didn't kill. History him, will record this forever. I'll need to come up with something very poetic and deep. Now I wonder. Hey, Demon King. Oh God, no! <laughs> yeah, no. I figured that. I figured he was a last resort sort of deliver the the killing shot. Yeah. Now, who has the highest chance of surviving a shot from him? The four critical worries me. I believe Ross has a clean bill of health for crits because his speed's so high. But he I does. would let him attack on the left side because of his chance of missing. Yep. That All right, way, Ross. then you can bring in the sure hit from below. 
Yeah. All right, Ross. Can you do it? I'm Did stronger you? than my dad. Whack. <laughs> it's got two HP left. Miss, miss, miss. Ow. Uh, I was hoping somebody would sidestep the amazing electrical storm yeah. of doom. But now he's dead. And he slowly disintegrates. <laughs> and screams in agony. He'd never make it in the old NES days, because he would have to crumble into dust into the earth. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that... No, okay, I'm about to say, there comes auto-scrolling text at some point. That's right, Erica, it's over. Damn auto-scroller. Evil, evil has been imprisoned, locked away. Legends of old have been mirrored in our actions today. Yes, Laracal, we can get the... <laughs> and you're right, Ennis, we've done far more. We destroyed his body. He can never come back in that body. And yeah, we do have a pretty good party of people to thank. <laughs> it took the might of the five heroes to do what we did. Uh, we had some pretty extraordinary power to draw uh, on, regardless. I'm pretty sure you used their weapons. I'm just exactly. saying. Exactly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yay. Yep. I mean, we didn't give in. I mean, I almost wanted to give up on this Let's Play at a couple of points, but couldn't do it. And because I got all the characters, we get a lot of stuff here. There's Vanessa. This is the Frillian crew. <laughs> yes, I'm sure Father will be most Part pleased. Part of the Frillian crew? Come on. You're disrespecting yeah. my boy Gilliam. Oh, sorry. He comes up in the Eastern Watch crew next with Franz. Yes, yes. Tana, I'm sure Father will be pleased that you slaughtered so many monsters. It does, but it means there'll be no peace for my mullet. <laughs> There's no need to rush. Eh, not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Seren, who I'd never used. I'd uh, never have. Never used Seren, honestly? Probably in a speed run, because you kind of have to count on pre promotes not sucking. And there's Mulder. And your boy Gilliam. My boy Gilliam. Gilliam, you didn't have the chance to Gilliam this up, even though I did give you a chance. But. <laughs> didn't. Yes, Tethys, you guys earned your pay. Now dance for me. I'm just kidding. Dance, Rummy! Dance! And all Marissa says is, let's go home, Chief. Like, that's it. She really does not have much of a personality, unless you get her in a couple of support conversations. Well, Jahana has a king, you know. It'll and it'll all work out. He'll just do what he can and go from there. Spoilers for the finale prologue. And speaking of, there's our boy Joshua. Hmm, heads. Looks like I should be getting back as well. Yes, you should. Homecoming time. There's Natasha and Amelia. The dirty traitors. <laughs> Pretty much. Where's Decel? Uh, he should be. Ne yeah, there he is. Oh, yeah, show up a Noel and uh, Cormag. Cormag. The other dirty traitors. Yeah, Cormag has turned out really well in the Erica playthrough, but you'll see that in some videos. He comes really strong. His problem is that he cannot. Like, even for a, a, a wyvern, he cannot suck a magic attack up to save his life, literally. Yeah, he really cannot. And there's the Ralston crew here. <laughs> <laughs> Dazla. I've heard he has interesting support conversations with Murr, but I have never seen them. Well, eventually I will see them, because I am working my way to 100% on that conversation front, so I'll let you know. Yeah. I will have to end up using everybody, including you, and so... Yeah. He can be a pain in the butt in his support conversations, but some of them are funny. Like the ones with uh, Amelia are amusing. The ones with Ross are amusing, too, because he basically makes Ross look like, look like an idiot. Sigh. And there's Murr and Soleil. Ellipses, ellipses. Yes, the Murr, darkness. the darkness is gone. <laughs> the darkness. Guess yep. so. I'm going to go home to my Dow. Yeah, that you slaughtered on Erica's path. Hey, look, it's Ewan. Hey, teacher. A piece of masonry should fall down and just crush his skull in right now. <laughs> well, at the level he he's at. Terrific bastard. <laughs> because I used him, he probably sense it coming and blow it to smithereens with magic. Yes, Ross is a true warrior. That's true. I do like Garcia better than Ross. 
If he hadn't turned out like he has, I probably would have ended up using Garcia like you have. But on this path especially, he turned out really good. I'm not I mean, saying he, Ross is bad. I'm just saying Garcia can learn how to use a bow, and I just love bows. Well, Ross can learn how to use bows, too. Yeah, but he's just he's designed to be a pirate to a berserker. That is totally his. He really sense. is. Yes, the foul demon has been purged from the earth, and Luke's going to respond with something that makes her sound pious. Was as powerful as the skull Pious? Described. No, 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 no. Full of herself and her books. Her academia. Yeah. The After pious all. one's on the left. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Whoa, that was crazy looking. The General. bottle was all yellow. That was strange. Sometimes that happens. I'm assuming that's just because of the Skype chair. Yeah. Ah, Ford. Lazy like about. Oh yeah, you're so lazy. And paint a picture. And that's all I got. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Ephraim, the reconstruction of Vernace is going to keep us busy. I'm going to need you. But you have to remember something about Ford. Still better than Makalov. Yes, so much. So. <laughs> <laughs> Can Makalov even be useful? I'm talking about Makalov and Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn, if you guys don't know what we're talking about. He gets crazy strong hit points and strength, I believe. He can be decent. Yeah. But, and, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. No. And we've finished, and now we go to the epilogue. And I do believe this is where stuff starts auto-scrolling, I hope. Sort of. It auto-scrolls, but you then have to press A to scroll it. It's it's weird. You can't yep. speed up the text. Yeah, this is where it's going to take a while. Yes, you are still Princess of Ralston, after all. Ah, oh, gosh. But that distance can be managed somehow. Especially if you have a guide who knows where you're going. <laughs> exactly. And also, you can take what shortcuts the straight... <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't think she said that if you and I were to be betrothed. That... Wait a minute. I didn't, get a... I didn't get an A support with you. I didn't think that... Yeah, you do appear a little forward, uh, Larikel. Now, they do get married if you get an A support with them, but I got a little confused. Yep. I don't remember her saying that if you don't get that. Did you get any support at all? Yeah, I got him A rank with Tana. No, no, with her. No. <laughs> okay, well then I, I don't recall it either, but I haven't done an Ephraim run in a while. I'm doing mostly Erica sides. Just because I hate that fog of war ship map, even on normal. Yeah, that is the one that gave my hard mode run real trouble. Death goal is bad enough in normal. I know, like that—that that is such a dick trap too. Like he just comes, like, like especially when you don't know it was coming, like the first time you played the game. You're just like, oh, I'm just on a ship. Da, 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 da. Oh my god! <laughs> and especially he appeared. You don't have that area lit up with a torch. Or, I know. You know. Like you have it torched with a the, the the stave, man. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, and there's Aww, Anna. Innis grew as a person. Yeah, he did. <laughs> That's all. The day will come, though. <laughs> One day, we will see who is the better. <laughs> it's Ephraim. It's totally Ephraim. I didn't even use you, Innis. Although, you are not a bad character. Speaking of Innis, have you ever seen the support between uh, Vanessa and Mulder? No, I haven't. Very interesting support. Talks about Innis. It's a story about him. It's pretty cool. Hmm... I, I just up. did that one last run. I was like, oh, that is really cool. I respect Innis even more now. He's still Definitely. a jerk, but I still respect him. Yeah. Must journey to Grotto. Why? Receive word from Seth. In the south within the Empire, there has been an enormous landslide. Yep, that was the disaster that Lion saw and was trying to prevent. So it looks like it happened anyway. So great that whole cities were destroyed. That's one heck of a landslide. Jeez. You think that's you, you think they're caught up in the landslide and they think that's bad, but what about the champagne supernova in the sky? It's <laughs> ah, <laughs> lyrics. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now what what is that song called out of curiosity? Because I Champagne can't Supernova. Okay. It's uh, an Oasis song from their uh, first album that had like Wonderwall and uh, Oh, there was about three or four ones on that one that, that were pretty popular. Their yeah. big album, before Be Here Now, which was decent, but not near as well received. Yeah. And then, the, and then of course, the Gallagher's got into pissing contests that were of epic proportions. Yeah, they're kind of famous for that. And 
Erica's going to stay and watch the country, and Ephraim's going to go ride. Someone must stay to protect the realm. Now, I, isn't this conversation different if you get an A support rank with those two, which you got at the end of one of your runs, but I don't remember, in all honesty, when you recorded this. I only did the one run. I, I mean, I showed the other levels, but I only did the one uh, tr ending. like ending. I didn't do the, the ending sets for the different guys. I yeah. believe I did the Erica route, and I then I just did the Ephraim levels as an alternate, just to say, here are the other levels, but I'm not going to be keeping this. So I made everyone into like weird classes, and it confused people royally. It was great. Oh, yeah, that's right. I mean, there are some stuff, there is some stuff that differs, and I discovered a few of them this time that I forgot about, like some of the stuff that Ian says near the end on Erica's side that's different. And now, I believe, we have credits. Executive producer Satoru Iwata, may you rest in peace. Who can say where the road goes? Yeah. And now we're going to sit here and watch credits. And while we do this, because we've got to wait until we get character endings, I would like to ask Bryce off, considering he's beaten this game multiple times, uh, what is your overall feeling for Fire Emblem Sacred Stones, like in the series? Well, it was my first Fire Emblem game. I did it as a guide for IGN, which is still technically up there, but now it's in wiki form, and they've totally destroyed the look of it. Okay. It actually used to look a lot nicer, but they moved all their guides into wikis and destroyed them, but that is off-topic to the, the thing. My first Fire Emblem game, and I played through it, and I went through the, the learning curve, but if you're going to pick a Fire Emblem game as your starter, this is probably the best one, because you can go to the tower and grind. Yeah. You can get better weapons that way, you can level your guys up, you know, provided you don't waste your good weapons in there. Yeah. Which, you you know, even an idiot can figure out, I probably shouldn't be running my good Sacred Twins in here. You can have a good time. And it also has a lot of levels, because you also get the Lagdao runes in there. People go, this game's short. Well, yeah, if you're just playing the thing and not going to the tower or the Lagdao runes, sure, yeah. it's only like 21 or 2 chapters long, total, 22 maps, but yeah, and all that, it, it's a good game, and I, I, I like it. Uh, however, all I heard for years was how much better Fire Emblem Seven was than this one. This one being the eighth one, and I played <laughs> the and I played the ninth one as my next one, and then I did the tenth one, uh, which is the sequel to the ninth one, direct sequel. And oh god, yeah, someday I'll probably get stupid enough to try that on my channel, and I'll probably want to kill myself halfway through. But that being said, I finally got around to playing number seven, and my god, I love the characters, the story, and just the design of number seven so much more that eight's fun, but and it's my first one, so it holds a part spot in my heart, but it definitely lags behind number seven. Yeah. But hey, it's probably still better than six I, that I've never played. Yeah. How do they look this much younger? It was only two years ago. Yeah, like this is when they first met. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is when they first met. Oh, or the you. This Go. just isn't when they first met. This is, this is this is when they were like Chibi Ephraim and Chibi Erica. <laughs> Chibi. <laughs> I'm just saying that's what it looks like. I have never thought of that until you just said that right now. <laughs> I'm son of the Emperor. You're Prince Ephraim and Princess Erika from Reneos, aren't you? I heard you were coming, and I've been waiting here all day. Wow, he waited all day just for these two. He waited all day because he has no friends. Yeah. I do feel kind of bad for Lyme because he's kind of like, you know, I don't have any friends of my own age, you know, and that's kind of how this beautiful relationship started, and it ended kind of awfully, really, because <laughs> they had to kill him. There was lessons now, taught in respect. I mean, they did what they had to do. Yeah. From now on, let's be friends. One day you'll kill me, but we don't know that yet. <laughs> let's be friends forever, unless one of us, one of us gets possessed by the <sighs> Demon King, Okay. Okay. 29 turns on Unbroken Heart, which that one took a while. 49 turns on Ridgewald. Let's see. What's the longest Ooh. one, I wonder? Let's see. Darkling Man, the Scorched Sand didn't last that long. No, it didn't. Total turns, 465. And now we get some character endings. Franz the Faithful. He continued to serve Reneus with the same devotion that he had during the War of the Stones. His generous nature and easy smile made him a favorite among the people. Who Even though, yeah, I didn't use him much. And there's <laughs> Gilliam. You really it, tried with him, I can I can see. Although yeah. he only won one and lost one. Jeez. Yeah, he did not do well. Oh, he missed so much. 
Um, his imposing countenance was said to strike fear in the hearts of even the most arrogant and brash of Frelia's new recruits. And, of course, his imposing uh, incompetence struck fear <laughs> in the heart of you. <laughs> yes, it did. And Mulder, who I've never used. Decent. Uh, he's decent. Yeah. I've used him the last couple runs. This current run, he's not as good. But the previous run, he got really strong. Yeah. But he's decent. I don't think he's as good as the other the other early healer, and I don't think he's definitely as good as Laracal. It's probably the third place of the three. Yeah, and Vanessa, who I've heard can be good, but oh, I've never used Oh, she's been her. spectacular the last two runs for me. Yeah. Like, better than Cormag. Good. <laughs> she was, like, <laughs> really good. Too Aha! Much ago. Ross and Amelia. Amelia traveled to Ross's hometown, where she decided to remain. Over time, the two fell in love and were wed. Years later, they had a son who grew into a warrior. As he grew in skill and strength, he surpassed even his father. <laughs> yeah, I like their ending. And then here's Garcia. You know, I have used Garcia once, I'm pretty sure, but I think it was just because I didn't feel like using Ross as a training unit. Like, that was one of the early runs I did of this game. Mm -hmm. So... A good unit. Good unit. I, I didn't use him this run, but don't take that the wrong he way, He always gets super strong. He can just... He's just so strong. He really is. He politely refused an invitation to become a spy from Reneas. So... I'm very curious to see what he's going to turn into for me. He doesn't have a, a partner for a a, a a rank this time, but he's getting some good stats. Yeah. And in my... Except strength, of course. Yeah. <laughs> As you see, Nehemiah got a lot of use. I got her an A support with Archer, but I guess there's no special ending for the two nope. of them. Not everyone gets a special ending with their A rank. Yeah. Now she it, does. It, get, it, it would get yeah. a little, little creepy and weird. Mulder and Vanessa. Mulder gave up the cloth and banged her brains out on top of a Pegasus <laughs> horse. Like, what are you going to say? <laughs> oh, I never thought about that. But I know she gets an A rank with Calm, and they have a special ending. I've seen that one before. And, and surely you've done um, Ardor and Loot as an A rank. <sighs> loot gets on my nerves, but I have used her a little bit. I didn't get an A rank support, but I think I've seen those conversations. <laughs> not not just their conversation, their ending is pretty funny, where she basically is going to study him for the rest of her life because she finds him so fascinating in the concept of love. But then <laughs> when, when, when they have a kid, she just turns to study the kid. It's like, yeah, your old news, get lost. Yeah, as you can see, I didn't use her at all. <laughs> That's not a bad move either. She tends to work out well, but her hit points are abysmal. Not as bad as that, you know, my 22 hit point run with her. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, when Joshua returned to Jehanna, he took Natasha as his bride and claimed the throne as its rightful heir. Natasha was the perfect companion, and together they carried the mighty desert nation to great glory. I like I like their ending. I really do. I did it the first time I played through the game, and I think I even did it on my my uh, playthrough. I think you did too, because I think that's where I first saw it and decided I want to try for. Actually, no, I found that one myself. That's right. One that was the first A rank support I got in this game. It's an easy one to get. They don't require many turns. Uh, no, they don't. <laughs> Commissioned as a court artist, he regretted his change. And Kyle, who I'm I mainly only used for Unbroken Heart and a couple of things after that. I'm very curious to see what's going to happen with Ford if Franz and him can actually have a an ending together. That's the one I'm working on at the moment. I don't for remember them. if I don't remember. I doubt if they, they do, do, but we'll see. I think um I honestly I think Seth is Seth and Franz would be the one because Franz wants to bang Seth pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> on top wow. of a horse. Or two horses on the run. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bryce off. <laughs> General Seth, should we work on our lance? Oh, you'll work on my lance. Da -da 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 -da. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> And Saran, who I never use, and it's pretty obvious by the stats that I didn't use it in this run. <laughs> I'm, I mean, sure her, yeah. I'm sure her and her sister can have a good conversation. Oh, yeah, that is uh, Vanessa's sister, right? Yep. They both have green hair. Clearly, they are siblings. Yeah, because we all know in Fire Emblem, if, the two, if two people have the same color hair, they're related. Pretty much. Yeah. Now, Duessel, I've always thought is a good, like, backup unit when you just need to fill spots, and he always turns out okay. And yep. Just, 
he is very much the the, the classic uh, pre-promote that is usable. Seth is actually a really decent one too, but you just get him so early. He's the one that everyone's like, "You stay away." Yeah, because you know we have memories of Marcus, and then the one in Fire Emblem Six. Actually, Marcus is in Fire Emblem Six, and he's even worse than he is in Seven. <laughs> wow, that that is impressive. There, there are a lot of crap units in Six, though, from what I know. Like that, that's one of the real downfalls of Six is that how many units can be just crap. And the fact that your lord doesn't get promoted till like the second or third last map. It's yeah. Like, uh... Yeah, and not to mention the freaking second to last boss is probably more powerful than the last boss. <laughs> like freaking, uh, I can't even remember Prince. What is his Unique name? Unique perspective. That's a nice way to say that she's a scatterbrain. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, the second to last boss of Fireman 6 is actually pretty difficult. I've seen a Max Stats Roy go against a Max Stats uh, Zephiel, there it is, and he barely won. He had to heal him every turn. It was really hard. <laughs> Sounds like Black Knight levels of nasty. Ugh. I am going to eventually do Path of Radiance. Radiant Dawn? I don't know. Radiant Dawn, still today, I've only beaten it once, and I just, I still have nightmares from that game. When I wrote the guide for that, I forced myself to finish it. It was a chore, and I have not played through it since. Yeah. I just have not been able to bring myself to boot it up again. I can't. I tried, and I got to part two, and just... I could. If you can make it through part one, you can make it to through to part four. Part one is by far the worst part of the first three. Two it is. is doable. It's just boring. I mean, three you get to use the the, the best people, so it, it's fun. Yeah, and then you're, you're like, hey, you, the game's fun again. And then you got to go against them, and you're like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're like, oh, oh, my pants are filling up right now. I know. The thing is, on the chapter where you actually, Ike is the enemy general, he actually moved towards me, and I freaked, I freaked out. <laughs> I was like, no, you stay over there. You stay over there. Yeah, listen, we like Ike, but we don't like him to kill our people, okay? Thank you. Yeah. His insatiable curiosity led him on a trip to explore the world. <laughs> he got, P.S., he got ate by a spider. The end. Yeah. And Marissa, who I did not use on this run, but... She's I don't like her. Lacks you, strength so badly. She got to 15 on the Erica chap on the That's Erica That's insanely side. high for her. Yes, and she is doing better than she's ever done. When did Soleil... Oh, I remember when he died. That was the run... That was the one fail run of Scorch Sand that I had on Ephraim's side. He actually got hit just randomly and died. <laughs> <laughs> Like, were it not for that, I would have gotten through Scorch Sand on this side on the first shot. <laughs> so, I just would but, have left him dead. I never use him. Eh, yeah, well. And Murr, who I used a little on this side. Not near as much as on Erica's side. Um, I do have an A-rank support with her on Ephraim's ending, so we will be seeing that when I do that ending with a another co-commentator. <laughs> if I can, you know... Nailing down. Ah, and here's Erica and Seth. I've never uh, actually seen this one. Upon their return to Reneus, Erica and Seth were wed with Ew. the blessings of Ephraim and all the knights of Reneus. The tale of the love that grew between a princess and her loyal knight became a beloved romance in Reneus. P.S. They remember what happened in Johanna, so he got held hostage <laughs> and said, Wait, no, I'm just going to marry you. <laughs> Ephraim and Tana. Once Reneus was stable again, Ephraim and Tana were wet. Ennis protested vocally, but when he saw how happy Tana was, he gave the marriage his blessings. Reneus and Frelia are now bound by blood as well as friendship. Aww. I like I like that ending. It's a nice one. Never seen that one either. Yeah. And that's it! We have completed Ephraim's side of things. Um... Before I end the video, I had uh, Bryceoff give his thoughts on Fire Emblem as a series, specifically this game, and uh, can't end the video without giving my thoughts on this. Um, Sacred Stones was the second that I played. I was introduced to Blazing Sword, well, Fire Emblem as it's called in translated North America. Um, and, you know, I like that one, but this is by far my favorite 
of the two. I mean, I love Blazing Sword, and I always will. And I will redo that Let's Play one of these days. Just, I'm not going to Let's Play a Fire Emblem game for a while after this. Um, and I really like, I like the story of this one a little bit better. But there's points that it has in areas that say Blazing Sword doesn't. And then there's part points that Blazing Sword has in areas. Like, in this one, they don't give you a character that basically allows you to beat the game. Like, Athos is in Blazing Sword, in my opinion, just so you can beat the game. Like, if you screw up entirely, you still have a per you still have a way to beat the final bosses. I mean, um, a Athos, if he has the, the Luna book and he, the crits hit, he can kill the guy in one round. Yeah. Um, but Sacred Zones is really fun. I played through both paths several times, completed one hard mode run that I can remember. I might have done another one. It's just been years and it was back when I owned a hard copy of the game, which I don't have anymore, unfortunately. But uh, as far as the project, uh, this was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. And I had fun with it, and there were some points where it almost came to a grinding halt. You know, the five-month period, I didn't upload hardly anything because of personal things going on and stuff like that. And uh, I can't say enough how much I appreciate everyone that was there for me during that, and... Bryce off, you were one of them, and I really thank you for that. Oh, you're uh, giving me too much credit, man. I just gave you <laughs> words of encouragement from afar. Oh, oh, trust me. There, every word I got from anyone was appreciated during that time. Um, and it's because of stuff like that that I finally powered through, got back to making videos, and finished the series. So, this series has been fun, and guys, there's still more videos left. I'm going to do Erica's Path with another person co-commentating. But thank you, Brysaw, for joining me on this one. Well, thank you for having me. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Next Bye. time. Bye, everybody. Ciao. Okay. Ew, he's, he's got some disgusting things. Aw, it's a... Ew, ew, and ew. Oh, I... Bryceloff is disconnected. <laughs> he wouldn't. <laughs> I hope he wouldn't. No, it's all right. It's just, out of general respect for uh, tradition, I, let, I, I feed you into a spider every time I play. <laughs> <laughs>